Let's see how to update the user data present in our MongoDB database. So we have method override here because most of the browsers doesn't support put and delete method. We need put to update our user records. So we have a get method here which matches this perm. This perm actually fetches all the all the users present in the database and assigns it to request.userid. We will just be making use of this object. So we get the user by his ID, the same ID of this param slash edit for this route. We will simply render uh, a edit form maybe. We will be writing that. We will simply pass on this request.userid object by copying it to user object. Let me open my node application. Inside views directory we have something called editform.j. Let me open that. And it's empty. Okay, we will be writing our form here itself. Before that, let me run and see if everything is okay with our node application. I'll switch on MongoDB server and then run my node application. Okay, the server is running right now. I'll visit localhost colon 3000 slash view. So we have three users. Once we click edit, we must render the template file. We haven't linked to it yet. We'll link it now. So edit iPhone form is the name of our template file. So now refresh and it should show empty because our JIT file is empty too. Now I'll go ahead and write my form. I'll put the method as post itself and action is slash user slash the user id and it's present in user dot id why user because we have copied our results to user object so we are making use of that object dot its property that is id wherein we have stored our email address so input, I'll send a hidden field. I'll take a hidden field and send a name that is underscore method and a value of put to override the post method. Remember, put and delete are not supported by most of the web browsers. So we need to incorporate this method that is sending a hidden field with a name underscore method and a value of put for updating the data. So now we take another input field of type text and name as name. Yet another input field of type number and the name age. and an input of type submit. Before we assign values to these fields, let's have a look at it in the browser and see if there are any errors. Oh, it's working right. Now I'll assign the values of the corresponding user. I'll go ahead and add a heading. That is, we are editing this users, this particular user's profile. The user's name is present inside user.name. Now we will assign the value to name and age by fetching it from that user. Value. His name is present inside user.name. His age is present inside user dot age. And this 
should put his name and age inside these input fields okay now let's write define our route user slash user id with a put method app dot put user slash colon id again it matches our params so while updating we have various methods we could simply make use of a create a new user object and call upon save method or else straightforward use the update method upon our user object first parameter is the primary key thing that is underscore id something which by using which you could identify the user uniquely in our case it's underscore id wherein we are storing the email addresses unique email addresses so second parameter consists of all the things we need to update name and age in our case And the third parameter is simply a callback method and remember this update method for some reasons do not throw in the results just it takes the callback method takes the error object so we check if there are any errors if so since it's development environment I'll I, I would want to see the entire object so I'll use JSON method if everything is okay i'll just redirect it to slash user slash that user id so that we could see the updated values so this is simple and straightforward and this should work let's have a look let me put b here and update so that's working let me change the name and age and that's reflecting perfectly well let us go and look at all the users now well this should work for all the users now in real time environment you should only allow his or her profile to be edited and what what if someone else edits your profile that doesn't make any sense right well i'll explain that later on in this video instead of update we could even use find by id and update method given exclusively by mongo's module well this is something which returns even the results i'll just illustrate that by logging the output that is the contents of docs that is it's just a json object i'll output that i'll log that onto the console window you could use this data however you want and everything else is same the syntax wise i'll go ahead edit i'll change the name add b hit submit now go to the console and you could see the docs contents of the docs logged on to the console window let me show you again now even change the age to 27 hit submit and here it is it got reflected onto the database also logged it onto the console window well if you are in a real-time environment you would like to allow only yourself to edit your profile right for that once you log in you store your username uh, assuming that your username is the unique key or primary key that is underscore id in your projects assign that username to a session variable while you edit make sure you are only editing the user with the user id that is present in the session that would make sense and is secure enough thanks for watching the video share this video
video with your friends on Google Plus, LinkedIn, Twitter, stumble upon Facebook, etc. Stay subscribed to technotip.com and don't forget to like this video on YouTube.